John, we're standing at the grave here of Larry Egan uh, here in uh, Ballycarog. Can you tell me the story behind uh, this, this particular headstone here? Uh, Larry was uh, Larry Egan or Hagen, as sometimes you might hear his name is pronounced, and uh, he was a, a journeyman farm labor really. He uh, he used to work different farmers, and he'd move off seasonal work. He didn't he didn't stay permanently uh, with anybody in particular, but uh, he always worked around this area, different farmers, but. He, always, he was from over the Gusron area, but he always said he wanted to be, when he died, he wanted to be buried under the skiok in Ballycar Oak Cemetery. And there used to be a skiok, a white horn, as we call it uh, uh, down here, a skiok, a white horn bush. And when he died in uh, 1953, uh, he was got dead, dead in a loft in a note, note farm close by, but uh, people knew that he always wanted to be buried in this particular spot. And when he was buried under the skock, the boys, because they weren't going to pop a headstone, they didn't pop a headstone for him, they cut the skock into the shape of a cross. And the local parish priest, for some reason, we can't understand why he didn't like, maybe it was the symbolism of the black thorn or the white thorn uh, and uh, the association with uh, pagan and superstition, that uh, he didn't like the idea of a uh, skock cutting the shape across in the graveyard, so he ordered that it be cut down. And unfortunately, that's what happened. So he had, there was nothing to mark his grave then for years and eventually a local family put up this cross to him. But a few years ago the Campile Historical Society decided to put the plaque in the ground as a permanent reminder because when the cross will be gone at least the, the plaque will be there. But another thing about Larry, Larry had, uh, where he was reared over near Gosron. His father had a little shop, and it was really out in the middle of nowhere. But Larry had a, and I always remember, I was told this years ago, he had a little, a, 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 a kind of a little verse that he used to say, was, my father had a shop. He sold candles, tobacco, red matches and coal. And it's a lovely ring to it. And that's, <laughs> it's so that I was told years and years and years ago. But I love it, I never forgot it. We've had out of shop, he sold candles, tobacco, red matches and coal. <laughs> I just thought it was lovely. And Larry's here now. Larry's here now. He's, he's a good spot. He's close to the Calvary and everybody that walks in and out will see Larry Hagen is buried in here. <laughs>